Greetings, my drinking buddies. Today we're gonna go ahead and add smoke to a couple of cocktails and see how they turn out. I'm your drinking buddy. All right, drinking buddies. Today we're gonna do two different smoked cocktails and we're gonna begin with a smoked martini that I'm gonna smoke some Earl Grey tea leaves and we're gonna impart that flavor into the glass. Now, normally on a martini you would chill the glass but I'm pretty sure that if you add smoke to a chilled glass there's a good chance you'll break it so we're not gonna do that on this one. We're just gonna light up our And I should begin by saying, I do have a fire extinguisher right here. So if you're playing along at home, make sure you're doing this safely. And I'm using an old plate that I don't really care about as much because it's got a chip in it. I would recommend doing the same. You don't want to ruin a perfectly good plate. I'm gonna let it burn for a second. Make sure to get all of that. Get all of that Earl Grey in there. And now we're going to extinguish the flame with our glass and let it smoke on there. And as it smokes on our glass, I'm gonna set this aside. And while that happens, we're gonna go ahead and make our cocktail. So this is gonna be a play on a martini, but we're actually gonna shake it because we're using fresh lemon juice. Now, rule of thumb on a martini, you don't shake it, you stir it, but whenever you use citrus juice in a cocktail, you shake it. So we're gonna shake it, and we're gonna begin with one and a half ounces of London Dry Gin. Today I'm using Tanqueray, and we are going to do a quarter ounce of fresh squeezed lemon juice. The smell in here is pretty nice. It smells like a Earl Grey tea, pretty, pretty strong. I mean, burning Earl Grey tea, but I can still smell the Earl Grey. And then we're gonna do a quarter ounce of maraschino. So this is a sweeter version of a martini. We're not using dry vermouth in this. Might even call it not a martini, but I'm calling it a, martini, a smoked martini. So I wanted to impart some unique flavors into a standard martini. And we're gonna shake this. All right, drinking buddies, so we have our cocktail here. Went ahead and garnished it with this cucumber. And you know, this is a unique martini. I made this the other day. I did actually get more smoke off of the Earl Grey the other day than I did today. However, let's see if it still is as tasty as it was when I made this the other day. Hmm. Oh yeah. So the first thing you taste is the maraschino, which is a very potent flavor but it's complemented really nicely with the smokiness. It's totally there. Juniper and the Tanqueray flavors come in next. Tanqueray has a little bit of a black pepper thing going on for me. Um, and uh, yeah, sweet, tasty, tart, balanced. It's a good martini. Not your typical martini that you throw either olives or onions in, but I thought the garnish of a cucumber would be nice because it can play really well off both those savory and uh, sweet flavors that are in here. Smoked martini. All right, drinking buddies. So for our second smoked cocktail of the night, we're gonna go with a smoked Manhattan. Now I'm gonna go pretty basic Manhattan here. This is nothing original like the last drink. However, we are gonna smoke it for a little bit of uniqueness. And for uh, this particular Manhattan, we're gonna go ahead and use Wild Turkey 101 Rye. Um, I, don't, I normally make my Manhattans with bourbon, but a lot of people like them with rye, so I figured why not please the crowd for once and make it with rye. And I love this Wild Turkey 101 Rye. We're doing two ounces of that. Next up, we're gonna go an ounce of sweet vermouth. I like the Dolan, as you guys know. Um, I had this is sitting on my shelf, but I always store it in the fridge. I recommend you do the same. Mm. 
And we're gonna do a couple dashes of angle. We're gonna stir this. I'm gonna pour it into our glass. grab our fire device. I have a barrels aging spiral here. Well, we've got it going. We'll let it go for a few seconds here. And then use one of my uh, fancy German mugs to snuff it and hopefully fill the mug up with smoke. And smoke the cocktail. All right, drinking buddies. So we have our smoked Manhattan. Let's hope uh, some of those smoky flavors got in there. Certainly smells smoky. It's a little hot. We need our garnish. Serve with a few maraschino cherries. Mm. Oh, there certainly was a little layer of smoke sitting on the top of the cocktail there which was kind of a nice little uh, uh, extra texture when I was swallowing it. Um, pleasant. Slightly different from a regular martini, um, slightly different from a regular Manhattan. Yeah, that is a quality Manhattan and a uh, little bit of uniqueness coming from that smoke and a little bit of uniqueness coming from the fact that I use rye when I usually use bourbon. So that technique was, uh, um, a little uh, showy, um, but those types of techniques, if they make a difference in flavor, I think are worth it. And this did. Well, drinking buddies, that was playing around with a couple smoked cocktails. And uh, you know what? I think they both turned out pretty good. So uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one.